Hi there, welcome to another CamCloud video demo. Here we're going to show you how to set up your motion detection settings for Foscam cameras right from within CamCloud. So here I am on the CamCloud cameras page uh, and I've logged into my user account and I'm able to quickly see the cameras that I already have set up uh, with CamCloud. In this case I have a Foscam uh, 9821P and a Foscam 8910W. Uh, so two different types of Foscam cameras. I'm going to show you how to optimize your settings from within CamCloud uh, to ensure you get uh, optimal uh, recording of any motion events uh, which we will store for you in the cloud uh, up in the recordings area here. So as you can see I've already created two cameras uh, and so they're created and connected sec successfully to uh, the CamCloud service. Uh, I can quickly double check any of the available settings uh, for these cameras and you see there's a whole bunch of settings that we make available uh, for you from within CamCloud. Uh, some that would be related to motion detection would be uh, ones such as uh, sensitivity. Uh, so here you can set the motion sensitivity to uh, high uh, which uh, would basically uh, trigger recording with virtually any kind of motion uh, in front of the camera. Uh, average and then low would be uh, obviously you want to turn it right down uh, to make sure you're only getting um, you know larger images uh, that take up a larger amount of the screen you want those uh, to uh, record uh, in the cloud for you. Uh, so you do you know, you tend to have to, depending on where you're pointing your camera, uh, you do have to play with these settings and get the optimal one for uh, your use. Here we're going to just do average. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other settings you can configure here as well. We're not going to go into all of them here. I'll go ahead and press apply. Uh, and then the similar settings are available within the other uh, Foscam camera, the 8910. Uh, so you can uh, play with some of those settings and make sure that the cameras are ready to uh, capture motion uh, as well as get the video quality and sensitivity and these sorts of things that you want. Also, we have a really more of an account level setting here called global motion detection. And think of this as your arm or disarm button for the entire account. Uh, so we do want to uh, capture motion detection recordings. Uh, so we are going to turn that on. Uh, and we're almost ready to go, but what I really wanted to show you as well uh, was a great new capability uh, here uh, to be able to set a motion detection area. And I'll show you what that means. And so this is our live view interface. Uh, and so this is just a simple view of the uh, two cameras set up at the same scene. They're standing, uh, the cameras are set up right next uh, to one another. Uh, and here what I want to do is I want to uh, set the camera, make sure it's pointed in the right direction and make sure it's capturing the video that I want it to capture. Uh, so here is the 9821P uh, camera and I can go ahead and increase the size uh, of that um, view. Uh, and I have some pan tilt controls here so I can go ahead and I can uh, uh, adjust where the camera is pointing uh, using the pan tilt controls. Uh, in this case, I'm reasonably happy with where it's pointing. Uh, but what I really wanted to show you is this new tab here, so motion detection. Uh, and this allows me to set uh, a zone or an area on the screen uh, that I want to be the area uh, to be that will trigger a motion event and trigger a recording. And so what I do is I press set area and this red uh, box comes up here. And so then I can resize that and, and what I want to do is I just want to be the, the focus area, the motion detection area, to just be the doorway. I want to ignore all other uh, areas uh, in the scene and I just want motion uh, to be triggered uh, if someone or something, someone I suppose, would walk through that doorway. And I'm happy with the way I've set that so I press save area and of course I could clear the area as well. And it's as simple as that. And those uh, settings get configured with the camera and so now only motion uh, within this red area uh, will trigger a recording. Now I can also jump to the 8910 
Uh, same idea, but the 8910 actually does not have this kind of feature built into the camera. Uh, so here, CamCloud's smart enough to know that, and we'll just inform you that this uh, kind of feature is not supported with this camera. However, there are uh, pan tilt controls available with this camera, uh, so we make those uh, available uh, to the user. So again, we're building uh, some smarts right into the service, so we know what model you're using and whether or not specific features are available. So there you go. That's how you quickly set up motion detection area for FOSCAM cameras. Thanks for watching.